Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. So today we are going to talk about paraphrasing and citation. So bear in mind that this is the last series of our literature review series, so let's not waste our time. Okay, why do we need to cite? Why do we need to paraphrase? We need to paraphrase and cite because we want to avoid plagiarism. What is plagiarism? Plagiarism is actually stealing from others. What is it that we steal? What is it that we're stealing? We are stealing other people's ideas, okay? Whether it's written or whether it's not written, it's unwritten, it is stealing if you are not giving credit to that person, okay? So we would want to avoid this. Um, there are so many plagiarism detectors that is provided by UITM for free. So you can go to PETA's website and see the plagiarism uh, provided. There's also a plagiarism checker in the Google Classroom, but um, for some of our assignments, I, I would not turn it on because I prefer to use turn it in. All right. So why do you need to paraphrase? Paraphrase is like putting uh, your ideas or sorry, other people's ideas into your own words, right? So after you have evaluated your literatures, right? You have summarized your literatures and then now is the time for you to put that those ideas into your own words That's how you paraphrase So again, like as I mentioned earlier students should paraphrase more than directly quoting because directly quoting is like just copy and paste just take whatever that person have said before put a uh, quotation marks and then just put it in your report so that's a little bit unfair right but you can still use direct quotation if you are afraid to alter the meaning of the original source but you have to use it sparringly all right okay so when you paraphrase you can either cite original work using narrative format or the parenthetical citation format. Let's take a look at how does those two look. Okay, as you can see on the slides, the first one, this is the narrative format. Nazlan suggests students to paraphrase original works and not rely on direct quotations. While on the other hand, the second one here is the parenthetical citation format. It is suggested for students to paraphrase instead of directly quoting sources. Can you see the difference? The first one, I started with the author. I lead the sentence with the author. So it places emphasis on the author itself and not the ideas. But what about the second one? I place the importance on the ideas itself and not the author. So the second one is preferred. Let's take a look at an example here. As you can see, in this paragraph here, can you see that the author led with, um, with an author's name? No, right? So they are actually using the parenthetical citation format. And this is the preferred format. Because you would want to put importance on the ideas and not the author. When would you start with a narrative format? When the author is a prominent author in that field. Okay, you would want to put the author's name. For example, like service quality. The prominent author is Para Suraman. Then probably you would want to say, Para Suraman mentioned something like that. Okay? So, if you cite from a book, it is not necessarily for you to put the page numbers. It's, it's not, um, it is not necessarily for you to do so. But if you would like to do so, it is a good practice. Because, as you know, books are very Thick, right it has a lot of pages so it helps for for your readers to identify oh where does this statement comes from so it, it pretty it kind of helps them okay so it's a good practice so these guidelines are for citations using primary sources okay primary sources what about secondary sources so citations using secondary sources uh, we're going to talk about that later on okay long paraphrases so, for example, let's take a look at the first paragraph here. As you know, the entire paragraph is referring to Velez's work, Velez 2018's work. Why so? Because they only cited a single author. Okay, so this is what it means. For example, if you have a longer paragraph, Velez from, you are still referring to Velez at all, then you would need to recite Velez in the second paragraph. Okay? But let's take a look at the second paragraph, the example here, down below here. Okay, you can see that the author seemed to reintroduce um, Elwood a couple of times here. 
um, again with Figli because they are listing whatever that has been found by these authors before so they need to reinstate okay Figli also mentioned this Figli also mentioned that okay so if you want to know more about the citation styles about the formatting you can definitely look into the um, APA style guide so what are references you know that references come at the end of a research article, right? So it comprises of a list of your citations, the citations that you use in your article, in your research paper, in your research work, okay? Why is references important? It's because when your readers are interested to know more about your research, probably they want to find out, oh, you cited Nazlan. Uh, wh what did Nazlan research on, yeah? Okay, so they would look into your reference list and search for Nazlan's paper, right? So that's why references are very important. It also helps uh, to convince other people that your statement is actually backed up by past researchers. But it is not necessarily for you to cite common knowledge. For example, Tun Mahathir was the fourth and seventh Prime Minister of Malaysia. Well, Tun Mahathir is the oldest Prime Minister in the world. So it's it's common knowledge you don't need to cite it there are many types of references they they have MLA they have APA they have Chicago Star IEEE and CSE they also have Harvard it's not listed here but for our field we often use APA so see uh, business economics or social sciences we use APA format okay and for this class we are using APA format the sixth edition okay so what are the uh, differences between references and bibliography simple bibliography includes citation that might have not been mentioned in the text for example you actually look into a textbook before you write your literature right you actually refer to a textbook but you did not cite anything from the textbook it just gave you some general idea about your research, right? So probably you would want to include it in the bibliography itself, but it does not appear in your reference because references only comprises of the citations that are in your report. If you if 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 it's not in your report, it should not be in the reference list. All right, so that's the main difference. So for research work, we often use references instead of bibliography. Citing secondary sources. What is secondary sources? It's like you read about a topic or an idea in paper A, but paper A is citing this idea from paper B. So you rely solely on paper A without even looking at paper B. So it's not a good practice for you to cite secondary sources. If you still want to cite secondary sources, the best practice is for you to find out what paper B mentioned as well. Okay, but if that is not possible, then you have to use secondary citation like this. For example, Kahneman 1979 as cited in Nazlan et al. 2017. What does this mean? This means that you did not read the paper by Kahneman, but you simply rely on whatever that Nazlan mentioned, whatever that Nazlan said. So you do not know what Kahneman researched on. You did not know what Kahneman experimented on. Okay, so this is um, if you use secondary sources, you have to put in effort to find this paper. The paper by Kahneman and only if it's not available for example papers from 1903 it is only available in a hard copy format so you cannot use it you cannot see it then definitely you can use secondary source you can cite secondary source okay if you want to know more about the formatting the citation style uh, and the the entire format for the manuscript that you need to submit at the end of the semester uh, please look up APA format 6 edition. You can find the book in LibGen. I have taught you how to use that. Um, different sources of literature uses different citation and reference format. Remember that. So if you cite from a textbook, it's, it's not going to be the same with um, a journal article. It's not going to be the same with a conference proceeding. So be very careful. So you can familiarize yourself with the APA format at the links that I have given um, here. We are done with our literature review. Um, you have assignments lined up for you and I'll I will see you again in our next topic. Thank you very much.